I began by curing two layers of Lovey Dovey White Gel Moment Polish on this nail stick. Next, I'm taking my precision brush out of the Creativity set and dragging it through Raven's Kits, which is our black polish. I'm going to begin by tracing the outline of the rabbit. This is a generally easy shape to do. It's just one circle on top of a bigger circle followed by a smaller oval that expands beyond for his feet. I like the precision brush strictly because it has a very thin tip and is not too long. So I feel like I have good control when I'm drawing artwork like this. I generally drag the brush through the polish and sweep it along the mat so that I don't develop a large ball of polish at the tip of the end. This helps to create nice thin lines as I go. Once I've completed this basic outline, I'm going to cure it so that my shape is set. I like having this shape to work with when I go in to fill in with colors and any other outlining that I want to do later on to create the finished product. As you can see, I was unhappy with the one side of the rabbit, so I just took one of our shading brushes and removed that side. I like to use the brush just because you can get in and wipe the side without having to wipe the whole design off. However, if I was unhappy, I would just wipe it and start fresh. As you can see, I took London Dream, which is our grey polish, and mixed it in to some Lovey Dovey to create a very, very pale grey. I've also cured my bunny now, so my shape is ready to go. I'm taking my dotting tool and just putting that light grey colour in to fill in for his fur colour throughout his body. It doesn't have to be super neat at this point. You will be finishing it up with the shading brush and the precision brush to make it look smooth and natural. Now I'm just taking my precision brush and I'm gonna outline again in London Dream. This just makes it more of a contrast color with my internal color as opposed to the more harsh black. Now I'm just doing a little bit of touch up with the color I had applied with the dotting tool. And now I'm taking my shading brush, which is also part of our creativity set, and just blending those outlines and any of the shading that I left kind of globbed in the design. This will make the design look more natural and congruent throughout. I've gone ahead and cured my bunny now, and I'm applying a layer of Clearly Frisky. Next, I'm taking one of our Gel Moment Mini Jewels and attaching it to my design. Once I've attached the bunny's tail, I will pop it under the light and let that cure again. Now that that layer has cured, I'm going to apply my final layer of Clearly Frisky to seal the design on and ensure that gem doesn't go anywhere. I want to make sure I'm not pooling up the polish around the gem, so I do a couple of swipes to make sure it's nice and, nice and smooth and even. And that's our final bunny. Thanks for watching.